It's hard to believe, but just a year ago, Timmy, the Cocker Spaniel, was a heartbeat away from being put to sleep. If Timmy, if we had been through this with Timmy, unfortunately we would have had to put Timmy down because it was unbearable in the end. It wasn't good for him either. Timmy had the doggy equivalent of Alzheimer's disease known as canine cognitive dysfunction, or CCD. Waking on the hour, every hour at night, from the minute we went to bed till um, I would get up at six in the morning to go to work. So he's up wandering around, back on the bed, up wandering around and barking. CCD affects 12% of dogs over the age of eight. The classic symptoms, staring, pacing, crying all night, forgetting how to use doors or to go outside to the toilet. When the dysfunction reaches the point when owners can't cope with their demented dog, most choose to euthanize them. However, Timmy's vet had heard about a revolutionary new study using stem cells to try to beat dementia. Timmy was picked to be part of the trial. So the Dogs Plus Cells trial is a world first trial where we're trying to cure or reverse or really do a major improvement in older dogs that have a dementia syndrome. What we're doing is getting a bit of skin from them, growing up stem cells that are specific to that dog and then transplanting it back into the memory part of their brain. And what we're hoping to see is clinical improvements and also memory improvements. The concept is the brainchild of the Regenerative Neuroscience Group and it's already successfully restored memory in rats. Now they're hoping they'll see similar dramatic improvements in dogs, but how would they know if Timmy's new brain cells are working or not? A researcher came up with what's called the canine sand maze, and basically it's a, I guess you would call it an arena of of sand, a circular arena. It has... um, a lot of liver treat powder mixed through it and then the dog is is shown where treats are um, that the powders mixed through to mask the scent and the dog's very good at sniffing out treats and so there are visual markers for the dog and so the dog's shown where treats are and then they go through a number of learning trials and then they um, ideally remember where the treat is in relation to the visual markers in the arena and so it's been tested on a number of young dogs and then older dogs and now we're using it on these dogs with dementia and so they're first tested before they have any procedures done and then um, at three months post having their cell transplant they're retested to see if their if their memory has improved with the transplant. And the result of Timmy's first post transplant test? Now our latest dog um, hot off the press was a clinical improvement In terms of memory, we probably need to analyse the results in more detail, but it's very encouraging that clinically that dog did improve. Associate Professor Valenzuela, who's leading the study, is quietly optimistic. This trial, hopefully at the end of the day, will revolutionise treatment for dogs and revolutionise treatment for humans. So if it's successful in this trial, our next step and the big aim of the whole project is to trial it in humans, but we really need to wait and see. Timmy's dad, though, is already totally convinced the procedure has worked. Oh, the improvements have been unbelievable at night. We, I'm actually getting a good night's sleep now. So he gets up once at night just to go out to the toilet, and then he's back in, and then he sleeps until about 5 o'clock, which is fantastic compared to what we had before. So unbelievable. That is good, good news. Yeah, it is. It's great news for me. I get a good night's sleep. <laughs> <laughs> have you noticed any other improvements um, at all? Yeah, he's a lot more affectionate than he was. Um, towards myself and their children and he's a lot more tolerant of the dogs the other dogs in the house now so yeah it's it's a win it's much better much better than it was so it's heaps better timmy's new and improved sleep pattern is also being tracked by a special monitor timmy's wearing a hay rex monitor and it's a bit like a a fitbit for dogs so he wears it on his collar and um, when he gets close to the receiver which is plugged into the modem at home the data transfers across and i can i can log in any time and just look and see how much uh, how active timmy's been how much up and down he's done during the day and and during the night but to conclusively prove once and for all that these neural stem cell transplants restore memory they need to test a further 10 dogs. Yeah, so what we're really looking for is is old dogs. A lot of people might just think that their dog's old and that the things that it does are just due to old age, but certain behaviours like certain like, like Timmy's being awake a lot at night and not being able to settle down, increase in anxiety in older dogs. And they'll do things like when they go to the door, they might go to the wrong side of the door, so they'll go and sit at the hinge side. 
Um, some of these dogs might walk under a piece of furniture and just get stuck there. They can't work out how to get out. Um, they, they'll often stare at, stare at walls or just stare into space. And, and these sort of behaviours don't really tend to worry the owners too much, so they don't, they don't think there's a problem with the dog. It's really when they have behaviours like the dog going to the toilet inside or barking and, and carrying on all night that they start to worry. But we'd really like to see owners being aware of these symptoms, like getting lost in the house and not being able to find the food when it's dropped on the floor, getting stuck under the furniture. And then if they notice these signs and see their vet or do our case cognitive dysfunction rating scale we can you know potentially help them and maybe get their dog into trial as well for potential trial participants timmy's dad has this advice sarah is up sarah um, who made first contact with us been absolutely fantastic you can ring her any time of the day or night and she will always answer she's there for you um, just from the smallest thing to the biggest thing and after timmy had the operation she we were in contact every day and she would come around two or three times in that first week just to see him um, and she lives half an hour away and she would drive there. It's fantastic. She's, um, she's the backbone of the, of the program, I reckon. So if you have a dog showing CCD symptoms, simply go to RNG's website at rng.org.au, take the interactive CCD rating test of just 13 questions, or contact the team directly to hopefully be part of this amazing study. So I'm very happy for, for the owners and for Timmy, and you know we hope that that positive outcome keeps on uh, on being seen in our new dogs it's not just for dogs that you're doing this though is it absolutely where this trial hopefully at the end of the day will revolutionize treatment for dogs and revolutionize treatment for humans so if it's successful in this trial our next step and the big aim of the whole project is to trial it in humans but we really need to wait and see